Alright, this is my emergency survival kit. Um, I was originally going to try and fit all in Altoids things, but I just have too much stuff that I don't want to part with. I know I want to find a better rubber band, but let's start showing you. So this thing, I wrapped it in duct tape, and it was originally the case that this little video recorder, my bloggy, came in. And I just got Altoids is duct tape to the top of it. But let's start with what's in the Altoids. So right here I got I think a hundred feet or a hundred yards of dental floss, one of the two. I don't know which one is it? Came in this one. A hundred yards dental floss. I got another one right there. But uh yeah, a hundred yards of dental floss. Well, be nice if I could find some tobacco. So I've got some papers. I got this isn't the only one, but I got let's see here, focus. 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 Well anyway, there it goes. It's a one sicilic acid wart removing band-aid. I got this little thing, a little miniature flashlight. I thought that would come in handy. Really, really small. I thought that was neat when I saw how small that was. Um, so, then I got these are for um, uh, blisters for your feet, I guess. Latex free. I know people are allergic. I might have to share. There's six of those. And then next I got a razor blade, surgical. Next I got only band-aids I could find were the ones that wrap around your finger. Got two of those. Then I got, I guess these ones are meant for the bending part on your finger or something like that. I don't know. Two of those. And that's all for the Altoids case. Not very much in that, but it'll come in handy at some point. Then next, in here, so I can do this without spilling it all over and I can still show you. This, I was thinking about looking at videos online. I had to cut this so it would fit inside there just right. If you can tell, it just barely fits. I had to cut it up. But, uh, I was thinking about putting in, you know, directions on hunting survival skills, like making snares, or, I don't know, making a fish trap, or a, a drop line for fishing, or just making different notes, or maybe if I don't fill it up, I can use it just as a journal, be something to do, put my thoughts in, out there in the middle of nowhere. Next, let's see if I can rip this. There we go. No, that'll. Oh, yeah, that just just snapped right there, kind of. Oh well. Anyway, I got this little toothbrush that I cut the tip off of. Got Neosporin pain relief ointment. Then I got. Lighter, that always comes in handy, very much so. Got a couple of pens. Just cut the end off of those and took them out of the case thing. You know, that's what I'll be using to write with. Um, Lotrimin Ultra. Maybe wearing boots a lot, very often. Might not have a chance to take them off very much. Might only have one pair of boots to wear. So you never know. Your shoes have a lot of moisture in them. So may want to have to kill some fungus. Also, I've had problems with the warts in the past. I had two of them removed. I had to use these for a while. And then I had to have a foot doctor use a surgical scalpel to, 
to dig out the dead root. So, probably, I think I got about 12, maybe 16, wait, 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 15. Yeah, I got 15 little pads here. So hopefully that'd be enough to kill some warts if I have to. Then next, got some mints. Might help boost morale. Being out in the woods, having to survive. Be nice to have something to freshen my breath if I run into a pretty lady too. <sighs> and right back here. I've got all sorts of little, or tons of little pieces of paper. This is what I I cut off from that. That's what I cut off from that notebook. I have it all just stuffed in right back here. And then on the side, I have this taped in. It's all my matches. It's just taped into the side right there. And I've got a little strike exposed there strike exposed right there and then on the back I have the strike exposed right there to strike matches on that's what that's what that thing is and then also got a secret compartment up here you thought that was it huh? don't want to spill it all over the place so then up here Take this thing out. And then I've got these are Excedrin migraine. Those right there. And then these are ibuprofen 200 milligrams. I got six of the Excedrin migraine and ten of the ibuprofens. Ibuprofens are just some generic IGA brand. couple more pens. I cut the ends off of these ones so they would fit in the smaller compartment. And there was ink leaking out. I didn't really think about it, but I imagine with the ends taped up shut, the oxygen won't be able to go down through the down through the tube and let the ink come to the tip. So I don't know if those will be any good soon. And I got some tweezers. Got a really fine tip so I can get thorns out, whatever. And I got... This is just the thing, piece of paper that came in the Altoids. Figured I'd keep that for kindling and doesn't take up that much room. Then I got... These are fishing hooks. There, are, I think, are six or eight in there. So... Looks like six, yeah. So hopefully that'll help me catch some fish with that dental floss. Hopefully I can do something with that. This right here I have taped in there is some super glue in case I need to fix my boots or something like that. And I have the, the lid isn't quite screwed on, but I have it taped on there. All you have to do is twist it and it'll pop the seal. And then right here I have 10 double edged stainless steel blades. And you push the first one out going that way and then you push the first one out going out. This is actually taped down and covering up that hole there so nothing falls through. I guess there's nothing really small enough to fall through. Um, it's actually pretty cold. I got my window open and it's like zero degrees or something or freezing. But anyway, I guess that's about all I got. So we'll go back over what I got real quick here. We got kindling, a book of matches, the striker, the razors, super glue, two pens that are cut extra short with the tape around the back end so they don't leak tweezers excedrin migraine ibuprofen 200 milligram little piece of kindling six 
hooks, fishing hooks, wart removers, 15 of them, uh, some breath freshener for the ladies, if there ever are any, Lotrimin for foot fungus, I'll tell the ladies about that, and got four band-aids there, uh, got my lighter, got my neosporin for wounds, got a couple of better pens, more ink, got my little notebook, got my toothbrush, I probably need some toothpaste, got the floss, 100 yards, got my smoking papers, got the wart remover, got the flashlight, got the six uh, blister band-aids, and the surgical steel razor, and that's about it. Uh, a couple other things I'd like to fit in, but I guess there's not really room. I wish I could fit in this first aid tape, but uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'll probably end up just taping it to the side of the box or something. But uh, any pointers you might have on what else I could fit in here, or... Um, and, yeah, throw a couple of these in there. You never know. Always got to hope. It's that light at the end of the tunnel. Might have a good time. In a shithole situation. So, uh, any pointers anybody might have on things I can ditch, things I can add to it, uh, would be greatly appreciated. Alright. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye.